Mayor, City Council, I understand you're in a very tough position with this budget. I'm at, uh, my name is Carrie Schneider. I'm at 8 East Thompson Avenue, Gloucester City. Uh, respectfully, um, you know, sitting where you are, having not enough money to pay for the services that we have, which are abundant. We have great services in Gloucester City. Um, I understand where you sit. And of course, Speaking as a business owner, any of you who own a home in Gloucester City, have been in business in Gloucester City, know that your costs are going up, your taxes have been going up. We voted in a school budget, so we're going to see an increase from that. I am not against combining services, cutting where you have to, um, not saying I want any firefighters to be laid off, but I'm actually here to speak on behalf of Eric Veteroff as well. Uh, Eric lives in town. Uh, I met Eric at a um, at the post office one day, and had it not been for that, I would have, when I was on hard times, not been able to fix my house where the roof <coughs> was leaking and water coming in. Eric Federoff told me about the loan program. My question is, cutting one job, one job that's it, that is operated very efficiently by one man that will probably be very hard to find that service if it goes to the county because people won't know about it. I wouldn't have known about it. I paid back my loan a few years later so someone else could have their roof or their fear done. It's a very effective program. I don't think that is an expense that we can afford to cut. Personally, I think that it will not be cheaper to do it at the county level and it will be a service that will not exist for our citizens anymore because they will not be able to find it and i respect where you guys sit i'm hoping that you can find a way to save that one job thank you thank you yes please step forward My name is Keith Grant Sr. I live at 5 Stanley Street. I have MS for the past 10 years. I understand what you're saying, sitting in and the budget and all that stuff. But we need the firefighters, we need the amateur drivers, we need everybody around here. I understand where you're sitting and the budget and all that stuff, but I need them. You got money to pay them? My MS? Yes, I do. <clears throat> My insurance, I have uh, the I have to get into person with you. Get it, don't even bother. Get it. I have all the qualities. I can help out every way I can. I'm only a renter at 5 Tennessee Street. My taxes will be going up, I understand that my landlord will be raising up the taxes, so and I'll be paying that. I have no problem with all that. But the problem I have right now, I we need the firefighters, the EMTs, we need them all. Without them, I'll be not around. I have 10, I have 10 years of MS, and I want to live a lot longer. Thank you very much. Town. I own property at 27 North Thompson Boulevard. First off, I'd like to start out by saying that what you're doing is wrong. There are rules, there are laws according to the NFPA that the fire department has to follow. Minimal staffings, which this town will not be able to cover. After that, there's a fire that happened a few years back. I'm sure everybody remembers it. And several people died. How many more have to die in order for you guys to get the picture? Next thing. Next thing, how can people like Bob Glassman, Dan Harkins, Cody Banks, Scott Maximowitz, uh, whoever else, I, sorry I don't remember the rest of you right this minute, but how can those guys sit here every day and live in this town knowing that they got laid off, they have to pay taxes in this town, their services are going down, 
How do they look at their children? Each one of them has a child. How do they want to stay in this town and grow up with their children and teach them how to live right? Every day they're about to look at their kid and say, this town laid me off because they thought that it wasn't worth raising my taxes for services that they need to provide. Yeah. You talk about 200 and some vacant properties. There's going to be nine more when these guys get laid off because why do they want to live in this town? this town. I spent a lot of time here. This is a great town. You guys are ruining it. Every last minute. Yeah. You want to save money? I got two things you can do. You can sell Channel Square apartments that you bought. You can sell that to yeah. Not only do you go after the people who don't pay their taxes, I'm sure you guys go after them. Why don't you go after the Delaware River Port Authority? From what I've been told, they owe $60,000 to $80,000 for services the fire department rendered. Why not try and go after them and pay them all the time? Also, to reply to what you said, it was a great speech what you gave a little bit ago, and I'm sure you rehearsed it a few times, so I apologize for stuttering up here because this is a last minute thing. But um, part of your speech was a little wrong. The guys from Collingswood can agree with me. They provide 24 hour protection with paid firemen. They supplement it with volunteers. Hey, point staff. The volunteers can show up to work in fire in that town, and Gloucester City's truck had to get there first to put the fire out in the town. So not only do they have 